Hey guys, Brent Boyer from Adam Soul. Let's talk divorce. First of all, please like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content of this video. So today, today I wanted to talk celebrity divorce. So you maybe have seen in the news, Kelly Clarkson filed for divorce under her married name, Kelly Blackstock, in uh, Los Angeles in early June, filed for uh, divorce. So Kelly Clarkson, of course, you know who that is, American Idol winner, turned uh, host on The Voice, uh, many hit songs, including the one about how much she hates her dad and, you know, no points for originality there. But um, you know who this person is. So filed for divorce after almost seven years of marriage to Brandon Blackstock, who's listed as her former manager, I guess. I'm not sure what else he was doing here, but they have two kids together. So he's definitely the father to her two children. And they have two children, ages uh, five and four, and in the divorce complaint in Los Angeles, it cited irreconcilable differences. And just so you know, it says that because that's what the statute requires. So of course, I don't practice law in California, I practice law in Michigan, but that's kind of a given. You know, in Michigan, we call it a breakdown of, of the marriage. There's a breakdown of the marriage relationship. Uh, California, they call it irreconcilable differences. That's why it always says that. So they don't have to give a reason, just like Michigan. You know, Michigan's a no-fault state, so you don't need a reason to get divorced. That's what that means. California, kind of the same deal. You don't need a reason to get divorced. If you want a divorce, you file for divorce, you file a lawsuit, and you will get a divorce. And as is typical in these filings, there's not a lot of details in the filing for the divorce complaint and in what uh, Kelly Blackstone, Blackstone filed, but she is saying she wants her last name restored to Kelly Clarkson, of course, for obvious reasons. Um, doesn't say a whole lot else. I'm assuming on something this short of a marriage that there would have to have been a prenuptial agreement. If so, that's what will control here. That's what's going to prevail. So then the terms of the divorce as far as property, spousal support, all those types of things would follow whatever the prenuptial agreement dictates. Now, as far as children, you could get into dealing with custody, parenting time, child support issues, those can be harder to nail down in a prenuptial agreement, especially you know if you're looking at Michigan law, for example, kind of hard to nail down what's going to go on with child support or custody or parenting time, but you can definitely uh, make an agreement in a prenuptial agreement in Michigan and be bound by it that dictates who gets what as far as property. You know, In this case, you're protecting a large estate, a, a premarital estate belonging to Kelly Clarkson of her music catalog, record catalog, her assets, whatever it might be that she has. So she would certainly be looking to protect those things. But I thought an interesting part of all this was, at least according to Cosmopolitan Magazine, to Cosmo, uh, that really what led to all of this finally happening was the quarantine. That Kelly Clarkson saying that her and her husband being together during quarantine was bad for their relationship, wasn't good, and finally led to the divorce. And there is a lot of talk uh, being that I do divorce, you know, people talk to me about divorces all the time. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of talk that the quarantine was going to cause an increase in divorces. I'm not sure if it has. Haven't seen the data on that yet. But th certainly this is one case where someone is just publicly saying, according to Cosmo, that the quarantine really led to the breakup here, to the final breakdown of their marriage. Yeah, so again, according to this Cosmo Magazine article, the, the time together took what was already not a good relationship and made it worse. Well, that definitely can happen. But what I would expect here, you know, in Michigan, there's a six-month waiting period with a divorce with kids. I, I'm no expert on California, so I don't know how that all goes. I'm assuming it won't be over and done anytime soon. But that's where things are at this point. So I just wanted to hit some points on that. Hopefully that helps explain some things. Of course, if you have any questions, give me a call or send me an email. Thanks.